APM desktop tool comes with a basic uh, recorder. It records the action which you take on the app and then provides you with the code based on the language which you choose. If you choose Python, you will get the code in Python language. Let us go ahead and then create a simple script. This tool, this recorder doesn't give you production quality code. It is designed to use for learning purposes. Let us go ahead and start the recorder. Click on start recording button. You will see a new section in the APM inspector. As I tap on app, So we have to choose an element. Let us click on the accessibility and then we have to click on the tap icon, tap button. And you can see that uh, a couple of lines got added and then the app screen has changed. Let me perform another action on this click on back button and you can see the driver dot back action got added now let me click on media and then choose the tab button and now you can see uh, two more steps got added uh, you cannot copy this five lines of code and then add it to a code editor and run it you need some extra lines for configuring the device and you should also have your environment set up. To get the boilerplate code, you have to click on show hide boilerplate code. Now you can see that we get some additional information which includes the desired capabilities and we are importing the APM driver, web driver and also the script and finally there is a driver.quit you can copy this code and then you will be able to run it provided your environment is fully set up so to summarize apm desktop tool in specific the apm inspector it gives us a visual representation of the application it is more like you are taking an x-ray of the app and then use that to get the elements behind the UI to write automation scripts.